Uh, hello everyone. We are going to do a very simple startup problem with two variable stats here. Uh, in statistics, it is often most interesting when you're comparing two quantities, not just crunching the numbers on one type of number, like distance to school or score on an individ individual exam. Sometimes it's interesting to see if there's a connection between data sets, so that's what we're doing here. Hmm, do you suppose there's a connection between the study time and your test score, says the teacher. Well, let's see. Here's a data set for 10 students. Uh, student number one studied for 75 minutes and got a score of 85. Student number two worked a little harder and guess what? Got a better score. This slacker did only 60 minutes and was rewarded in kind. All right. So we're going to try to make sense of this data, even though I think it's a bit obvious. Um, but we're going to do it uh, with our calculator's help and we're going to put a scatter plot down. We're just going to plot the data is if it's an X variable and a Y variable. I think you have control over your study time. You can set that timer and study however long you determine. So that's your independent variable, your control variable, and then your score is how you are rewarded by your efforts. So we're going to put that along the Y axis. All right. So spark up the old calculator here. And um, just for variety, I have put the data in L3 and L4 on our TI calculators. This is just to show that when you're doing your homework, you don't have to keep deleting and re-entering, uh, especially if we're going to go over homework. You can do it L1, L2, and pretend this is maybe the second problem. We've got the data in L3, L4. That just means that when you go to your Y equals menu and you turn on plot 1, it's got to have the correct lists in it. So let's go up there and check that out. Go to second Y equal, and you'll see I've got L3 and L4 there, but if it was not there, I would hit enter. And I uh, see it is turned on, of course, because it was shaded. Um, but down here, then, I could go down. And uh, uh, it's on scatter plot right now. Obviously, if I had done a box and whisker plot or whatever, I'd have to change that. But there it is. If I wanted to make that a different list, I would just hit the second button and then hit, like, 1 for L1. But I don't. So I'm going to clear that back out. And I'm going to do second and then 3 for L3. And that is where it appears. All right. So then I simply can do zoom and hit 9. Whoops, I shouldn't do zoom while I'm there, I guess. I will quit out of that. I'm surprised that did that, but I'm going to hit zoom and then 9 for stat and there's my data, okay? So it looks like, you know, there is a correlation it's called between the amount of time you study. There's a couple of folks that kind of buck the trend maybe there, but uh, I want you to um, sketch that out and then just take a ruler and then just guesstimate the best line. Just draw that first and see how close you can get that to go. The best fit line is the line that comes the closest to all the data points. All right, So it's going to have an upward slope like that. Sketch that out. But then we can also have our calculator do this. So we hit the stat. We go over to calc. And um, we are going to do lin reg right there, lin reg. So I hit option number four, and you'll see that um, here, oops, it's set on list one and list two. So I'm going to correct that. I'm going to do second, hit the number three. Above that is L3. Then I'm going to go down and do second, and then do four for L4. And I will hit enter, and enter here. I can store this equation in my uh, variables, uh, my Y variables. So I hit vars. And then I go over to Y variables, and then I choose one for function. And sure, why not put it into Y1 up there, OK? That's where it'll be pasted. And then I hit Calculate and Enter, and there it is. So my line has a positive slope with the intercept there. Now this R value is my, like, how confident I am that my line represents the data. The closer it is to 1, the closer it is to 100%. This is 0.9, so it's about 0.9, 90%. That's our um, correlation coefficient, and we'll talk about that more later. Okay, But check out our graph, and there it is. I can see how well my original guess was compared to the calculator's determination of that. And that is how you do it. Good luck with that homework.